to further support my wonderful partner. Adrian Lund, president of the Crash Testing and Highway Safety. This, is, this uh, has to do with the brain development of teenagers. It says that lowering the drinking age reflects ignorance about the years of research comprising the scientific justification of the 21 laws. And sound policy should be based on sound science. My opponents have failed to present strong, strong scientific theories at which lowering the drinking age would be beneficial to America. And also, David J. Hansen, uh, holder of a PhD and the writer of an article called Drinking Alcohol Damages Teenagers' Brains, said that research indicates that the human brain continues to develop into a person's early 20s and that exposure of the developing brain to alcohol may have long-lasting effects on intellectual capabilities. So lowering the drinking age to 18 would just invite alcohol into a, into a person's system and damage a, per, um, a person's developing brain even earlier than before. And to support that, and to go into an even specific and to even explain the specific damage that alcohol has on the brain, Ronald M. David Davis, he is the immediate past president of the American Dental Association, says that American Medical Association says that it is impossible to ignore the scientific evidence demonstrating the dangers of underage drinking. A young adult's brain is a work in progress marked by scientific development in areas of the brain responsible for learning, memory, complex thinking, planning, inhibition, and emotional regulation. And these are all things that we all desperately need in college. Um, let's see. Also in league with lowering the drinking age to 18, Sarah Algo, the author of Do Not Lower the Drinking Age to 18, says that lowering the drinking age might also influence 18-year-olds to buy alcohol for younger teens ages 15 to 17. And since obtaining a license at 16 is possible but rare, Drinking and driving will start in an even younger age group. So, as my opponent said, that spending money to educate people on the dangers of alcohol, they would have to spend even more money to help educate an even younger pool of people that are getting alcohol from 18 year olds if it were to be legal. Also, uh, in an American, in a American societal poll, that a survey shows that only 14% of Americans. Uh, agree that lowering the drinking age will curb teen binge drinking compared to 47% that believe that it will actually make a huge problem worse. And to, and to, uh, and to help support the fact that the 21 age law is effective, um, the Capital Journal posted an article saying that the drinking age should not be lowered. It says that between 1985 one year after the 21 age law was enforced throughout America. Between 1985 and 1997, heavy alcohol use among people in the United States, 17 years of age or younger, actually dropped 65.9%. And similarly, alcohol-related traffic injuries and fatalities among young people have dropped nationally also. And not only to, uh, to uh, think about the injuries that alcohol has on our team, on um, people and teenagers everywhere, that if you were to lower the drinking age to 18, it would also hurt, let's say, California also, because there's a law, there's a federal law that states that if a state were to lower their drinking age to 18, that the federal government would not, uh, would not, it would cut federal funding for highways, and that's something almost all states in the United States are heavily dependent on, and in our economic crisis, we cannot, um, a state cannot support themselves in, in, in uh, funding their own federal highways.